Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today's video we're going to cover the very beginnings of a shotgun stock. Now this was a block of wood when we started. And I like to do my rough material removal with a bandsaw. Like so. And I like to do my really rough inletting by just doodling on the stock basically. Because... When I have a mechanical pencil that actually has lead in it and functions, well, I guess this is a testament to why we don't use cheap mechanical pencils. So we're going to use a pen. Um, now I'm going to center this. Because I want to put a cheek piece on this. Now this is a German gun, so I want to make a German style Sherman style stock. So I'm actually going to offset the stock um, a little bit to the left, so I have more material here to make the cheek piece. Um, this you got to hold your pen at an angle because what can happen. As you'll see, I've got two lines on here because I held it vertically. Vertically and not at an angle, which means my, my ball offset. It's one of the reasons I like to use a pencil. But this gives me the rough outline of how much material I need to remove. So excuse me while I unplug my bandsaw so I can open my toolbox. But we will just grab a chisel out of here. I think. Something tells me this is about 10 millimeters wide. It is not, it is 10 millimeters wide. So, you know why I knew that? German gun, all, all the fastener sizes on this makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is just chop this out with a chisel and we'll start roughing from there. It, early on, you can go pretty quick. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go into too terribly much detail on video just because I find it tough to film and work. I'd rather just work. Um, and I'm really not sold on this little um, nubbins on the end of the tang. I'm tempted to grind that off. I think, I think this is asking for splits. Um, and it makes it a lot harder to inlet. I'm more worried about the splitting and I just don't like it aesthetically. Uh, I have a lot of freedom on this so I can kind of do whatever I damn well please. And I think I might take full advantage of that. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this little teaser trailer interesting. I think every time we hit a major jump in what the stock looks like, I will update and post another follow-up video, which might not be for a while. Projects like this tend to take a couple of months.